Hey guys! In this video we will draw a nice cream bar in Procreate. Before we begin, you can download my Sweet Putty brush set and the color palette that we will use in the tutorial below. You can support me and unlock exclusive tutorials and brush sets on my Patreon page. You can check it out by the link in the description below. Without further delay, let's begin drawing! The size of my canvas is 2000 by 2500 pixels. In the beginning, let's work on the background a little. So I will go to the color palette, select this blue and drag it on the canvas to fill it. After that, I will pick the color underneath, that is light blue. I will go to selection and in this menu pick rectangle. Also enable color fill. I will draw a rectangle at the bottom that is not too high. Then another rectangle somewhere in the middle. That will be wider. Let's deselect and go to adjustments to pick Gaussian blur. I will apply it on the layer. Slide to the right to create this gradient. I think around 48 or 49 percent is fine. We will come to background later. Now let's draw the ice cream. For that I will create a layer above this one. And pick this brown color from the palette. Now let's open the brushes, go to calligraphy and here I duplicated monoline brush. In properties I set maximum size to 759. The size of the brush is set to 26% and we will draw the ice cream shape. First it will go as a straight line, vertically. Then I will click on the arrow to open the transformation menu. I will switch to freeform and widen it by dragging this side to the right. Let's also make it a little lower and I will place it in the center. The dimensions here are 627 and 1613. These are approximate. You can find your own dimensions that will work for you. Let me also rotate it a little. So it goes strictly vertical. Now let's give this ice cream a bite on this edge. For that I will be using selection. Here I will switch to freehand and turn color fill off. Let's outline a curvy shape. It will start from here, go a little wavy, down and to the right. Let's close the selection, tap here, then swipe three fingers down and click cut. After that we can use liquify to adjust the shape. Here it is in push mode without any distortion or momentum, but pressure is at maximum. I will make the size smaller, around 20%, maybe 25% and make it a little more round.
Okay, I think it looks like teeth. After we did that, we need to duplicate this shape. I will go to the one below, pick this dark brown and drag it on the shape to fill it. Then I will go to transformation and drag this layer diagonally. This way we will determine the thickness of our ice cream. I don't want to make it too thick. Ok, I think this is fine. I also want to change this edge a little using liquify because I don't want them to look identical. So I will just push it this way. Now it is fine. We also need to add the white part between these two chocolate areas. So I will duplicate this dark layer and fill this one with a light color that is almost white. After that I will drag it slightly to this side. So we define the thickness of chocolate on this edge. I don't want to make it too thick. So we have these three layers. And we need to cover the ice cream on this side and on top. So let's pick the color from here and go to the top layer. Here I will select original Procreate monoline brush and the size is set to 2%. First let's connect these two angles with a slightly curvy line. I will make this edge a little round. And from here I will draw an arc that will cover this shape and also this dark line. We can use quick shape tool to create a perfect arc and also edit it. We need to make it match here and also adjust the roundness. which we can also do later, so let's fill it for now. Alright, now let's work on this part. First we need to connect these two angles as well. And I will draw a curvy line going from one angle to another. Then I will draw a straight line that will cover the dark edge and draw an arc from here. Let's try to match it with this edge. And here. I don't want to make this edge too round. It is better if it will be a little flat. Let's try to fill this area and see how it looks. I think it looks quite nice. We can start shading it. Before that, I will pick the dark color from this edge or you can pick it from the palette. I will switch to Studio Pen from Inkin because it has these tips. And I will draw a line along this edge 
to add some thickness to this chocolate layer. The size here is set to 10%. And I'm changing the pressure while drawing. So the line will get thinner here. Let's also make the size smaller, like 7%, and draw a line here. Also on top. I will also make it more narrow. Ok, now let's proceed to shading. Well, let's do this. Let's select all three layers for the ice cream and group them. I will place it in the center and scale a little. All right. Now let me open the group, go to the top layer and create a layer above it that I will clip. We have this dark color already selected, so let's start shading from it. I will pick soft brush from airbrushing. The brush opacity is around 80% and I will adjust the size. Let's make it 12% for now and I will shade this part of the ice cream. After that I will make the brush size a bit bigger and shade it at the bottom. Alright, for now we can switch to light color. And I will pick the one that we used for the white part of the ice cream. First I will go along this narrow part of the ice cream. Not pressing too much. Just highlighting it. Let's also lower the brush size to 4% and draw a more narrow line. On this edge. If you want to make it perfectly straight, you can hold on a second and it will turn into a straight line. We can actually make the size even smaller to add this highlight. I will also draw it along this edge. Adjusting the shape first. Then I will increase the size and draw more. Let's actually switch to smudge tool that is also set to soft brush and I will smudge this edge at the bottom. To make a soft transition. But the highlight still remains sharp on top. Alright, let's also smudge this part. And to make the contrast between the highlight and this chocolate part 
more visible, we can darken this edge a bit more using the same dark brown color. So I will just go along the edge near this highlight, maybe a little upper. All right, it has some glaze. I will just smudge this white part a little. And after that, I will select this light color again. Actually, it can be even pure white. I will create one more layer above this one. And go to my Sweet Putty brush set. Here I will pick sugar brush. The opacity of this brush is set to 60%. And the size is almost at maximum. I will go all over the shape. Not pressing too much on the pencil. Creating this texture. But to make it pop up from the chocolate. I will change its blending mode to subtract. After that I will just lower the layer's opacity, so it's not too intense. Let's keep it around 46%. The shading on the ice cream is done for now. Let's work on the white part. So I'm merging these three layers and creating a layer above this one. Let's also clip it. And from the color palette pick this gray. For the texture I will be using one of the Procreate charcoals. It is called Burn Tree. The brush is in full opacity and the size is set to around 22 or 21 percent. Let's just draw all over the shape. I'm not pressing too much on the pencil. And then you can try to scale it and place it the way so that this part is dark, that is close to the edge. Since it is a little too intense, we can lower the opacity. I will make it 75% and you can do it according to your result. I would like to add some flavor to my ice cream, so for that I will create a new layer that I will also clip. I want to make it strawberry, so I will be using this pinkish color and you can use yellow, orange green, purple or whatever color you like. Let's just drag it on the shape. After that I will go and change the layers blending mode to color. Let's also lower this layer's opacity a little. I will make it 88%. And now we can shade this layer. So I will go to the texture, then to hue saturation brightness from adjustments. Here I will select pencil. Let's switch to soft brush. I will set hue to 50%, which means it won't change. And I will decrease the brightness. Let's try 43% now. I will make the brush full opacity. And the size is at around 3%. I will darken this part slightly. Also here on the edge. And here. 
We can try to make it darker or lighter. I will keep it at 34%. Let's tap on the canvas with one finger and click apply. After that we can add the highlights. So I will set hue to 50% again, which means it will stay the same. And I will slide the brightness to the right. With the same brush I will draw on some parts to lighten them. And we can adjust it. Ok, I think it looks quite nice. I will deselect and merge these two layers. Actually, we can flatten the group now. So I will click on it and select flatten in the menu. Now let's draw this stick. For that we need to create a layer below the ice cream. I will select this beige color. Go to calligraphy and pick our monoline brush that we created today. This time I will set the size to 11% and draw another vertical line. Wait a second and make it vertical. We can drag it this way. Just want to make it a little longer. Alright, now let's add texture on the stick as well. That will look like wood. For that I'm creating a new layer above it and clipping it. Let's also change the layers mode to multiply. And I will pick the color next to this beige. For the texture I will also use a brush from charcoals, but another one, that is carbon stick. I will just paint a small area on the stick, with the brush size set to 20%. Then I will click on the arrow and in the transformation menu select freeform. Let's drag it upwards to stretch. Maybe also down so it turns into lines. And I will drag it a little up so the texture is more intense on top of the stick. I will just move the ice cream a little up. Alright, now let's add shadow from the ice cream coming on the stick. For that I will create another layer, also clip it and set to multiply, so the color gets even darker. And I will switch to soft brush from airbrushing. It's in full opacity, I will just increase the size to around 7% and draw the shadow, but I'm not making it straight, it will have a small angle. Like this. So we still keep the texture here and creating a shadow. If we did that on the same layer, we would lose the texture. Now I want to add some thickness to the stick. For that we can just duplicate the base layer. Go to this one. And I will drag it to the right. Now we need to darken it. And for that I will be using hue saturation brightness option. Apply it on the layer. 
I will darken it and also increase the saturation so we will get this brown color let me see I think this is fine so the saturation is 61% here and brightness is at 36 I will just darken it on top for that I will go to hue saturation brightness again and this time apply it with the pencil setting hue to 50 sliding on the brightness to the left and drawing like this let's adjust it I will keep it at 36 percent this is also done let's merge all the layers for the stick and I want to add a bit of perspective both to ice cream and the stick let's start with the ice cream so I will go to its layer click on the arrow and switch to distort in the settings I want to enable magnetics so when we drag this side up it will go strictly vertical I will also drag this side until these two lines are parallel I'll drag it a little down now And do the same for the stick. I will switch to distort and drag this dot a little up. Not too much. Now let's select both layers and rotate it without magnetics. I will also adjust the shapes a little so let me switch to distort I think it looks better now and I will also make this edge a bit more round for that I will be using liquify so let me step on the layer with the ice cream I will go to adjustments and pick liquify it is in push mode the size is set to 40 percent and I will push it this way I think it looks better with the round shape maybe also adjust this now it is perfect what I also want to do is adjust the colors so we can merge these two layers and I will increase saturation To 70 percent you can also play around with brightness I will make it 49 before we finish the background I want to add some imperfections on the stick and I will be doing it in a very extraordinary way so let me first duplicate the ice cream and I will go to adjustments here I will select chromatic aberration and apply it on the layer I will put this target on the left and slide to the right to around 56% we will get these layers let's clip it 
to the base layer with the ice cream and I actually didn't want to get this effect. Of course you can keep it, just play around with blending modes, erase some parts if you want, but I will do this. I will first change the layers mode to luminosity. After that I will move it, because I will only need the stick. I will drag it down to make it match with the edge. So we will get extra shadow here and also some deformation and imperfections on the wood. I will only erase what I don't need using the soft brush. That is all the texture on the ice cream. Finally, we can work on the background. So I will go on the layer with the background, create a layer above it and select pure white from the disk. I will go to luminance now and select bokeh lights. The size is set to 65%. I will make a couple of strokes on the background. But I don't like the circles to be too sharp. Personally, I prefer to blur them using Gaussian Blur. I will do that around 9.3%. But that's not all yet. I think this blue color looks a bit too boring and I made it this neutral color intentionally. So we can go and experiment with gradient map. Here you can find a few presets or you can create your own if you click on this plus icon. Personally, I love Breeze, Venus and Neon. So let's keep the last one. And now my ice cream drawing is ready. Please make sure to tag me if you post on Instagram and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button and turn notifications on if you don't want to miss my new videos. Likes and comments are highly appreciated as well. Thanks for watching and see you soon!